Yes, please, questions. Yeah, any questions for Vasha, please begin with him. Questions? Yes. Uh, in the last game, you were serving for the match, and the crowd was very supportive, not of you, of course, but uh, it's very, very active, and there were lots of break points and missed match points. What was going through your mind? How did you keep your composure? Uh, well, I mean, I just tried to do go point by point. I was getting uh, pretty emotional, but I, at the end, I tried to calm down a little bit. You know, it's obviously, I, I think we all realized how huge that game was because the crowd was really getting into it. Uh, the last couple of games, but uh, I think Daniel helped me out a lot there that last game. You know, he, he made some huge moves and put away some really big points and volleys in the net. So uh, I mean, he really helped helped me there and pulled us through that game. Yes. Were you tired after yesterday? Um, not as tired as you think I am, I guess. But no, I didn't feel too bad to be honest. I, I felt pretty. I felt like I had a, a good amount of energy throughout the whole match. Um, not, not feeling too bad actually. I'm ready for, for tomorrow if I need to play. Questions? Yeah. Yes, for the captain. Yes, for the Russian. Can you be excused because he needs to go? Okay. Come on, Russian, you're here. Yeah. Thank you. Russian, tell him any car that he can that's ready to go. Okay. You, you guys can go. Okay. Well, I mean, I can't explain. I, I know how it feels. It's it's hard sometimes. You get nervous and you know, bolt. And it was fortunate because you know he made some some second serves and I missed easy returns. I thought and so it was you know two veteran doubles players who've been at the highest levels. You know, both missing shots uh, that are a little bit uncharacteristic. But. Uh, you know, it's unacceptable from both of us, but uh, luckily for us, uh, you know, he gave us one more point than, than I gave him. And, and uh, you know, it was, but outside of that game, I thought it was a really tough match and well played by both teams for the most part. Uh, everyone had their moments of playing really well. And, and uh, just typical Davis Cup doubles, you know, the crowd was a, a factor. And, you know, they made it interesting and fun at times. And, you know, it's a great atmosphere. It's, it's fun to play. And, uh, Something that you'll never forget these these kind of moments. Daniel, can you make, can you put your finger at the main difference today between the Canada couple to the Israeli team? They're playing most of the time together, and you're not playing together. Well, I mean, there is no real difference. I mean, you saw the match. There was one point, two points. There are difference. It's not a, a convincing win for us. I thought it was very close and. Yes, you know, we haven't played as much as, as they have, but, uh, you know, Vashik is, uh, he's very confident right now. He's playing some of the best tennis of his life, so, you know, I think he has the most confidence of anyone on the court because of how well he's played in the last uh, three months. He's, he's beaten a lot of top players in singles, and he's always had very good uh, doubles uh, instincts, so I don't think uh, anyone was surprised with the way he played. And as I said, it was, uh, it was outside of that, it was, it was good, solid tennis, and, you know, a couple moments where everyone played great and also was a little nervous. More question? Uh, for the captain. Um, Thank you. How do you, <laughs> how do you see uh, tomorrow's matches? Which players will you do? What are the odds in your, in your opinion? No, the, the odds are, they won't change because uh, we knew from the moment we beat Ecuador, we knew we would uh, come here and, and every match will be very, very close and very difficult. And the first three year have been like this. And I expect it to be like this to till the end, whether we play one more match or two. And for us, uh, for us, we have good momentum now, but there's still a lot of tennis to be played. And we have to win three more sets. And they're very difficult sets to win. So we'll see tomorrow. Uh, it's a 2.30 match, so we have the morning to evaluate uh, how everybody feels. And uh, we, we stick to what we've been doing, which has worked well, is get ready. Every, everybody's ready. The three singles guys are ready to play in any moment. And we're in this position now, so we'll, we'll uh, see tomorrow how everybody feels. What is your opinion about the crowd in the very loud 
Yes, it's live. But uh, they paid their ticket and they were allowed to have fun. You know, I mean, it's like Daniel said, this was a very fun match. I mean, it's always more fun when you win. But you know, as long as uh, as long as we get to be able to play tennis in between, um, you know, we can do their thing. But uh, if it's you know, that's up to the umpire and the referee to make sure that you know. For us and for for the Israeli team, we we, we keep the flow of the matches going, and uh, and this is what Davis Cup is all about. This is it's what makes this competition the greatest. It's uh, it's different from a, from any tournament uh, that you play in Shanghai or in uh, or you know in Tokyo or whatever it is that uh, you get the crowd involved and it's, it makes it exciting. I mean that's why these guys enjoy playing Davis Cup. It's uh, like Daniel said, it their their matches that. Uh, Stay in your memory for a very long time to do that. Daniel, did you make any specific plans for the Israeli couple? I mean, specific things you knew about them preparing for this match against Andy and Yoni? I we can't tell you because I'm going to play them on tour again. Ah. <laughs> this mean, match. Well, I mean, they're a great team. I mean, obviously, they, they play very well as a team. They're very active. Uh, they move a lot. And they're aggressive. They're, they're always trying to. to to make you take your eye off the ball. You know, they're always crossing and, and uh, they're, they're athletic and they move well. So I think uh, you have to keep that in mind when you play them and you know, try and just focus on your game and not worry about what they're doing. And, and uh, you know, I, th I think they're on their way back to the top. You know, they've had a couple tough years, mostly due to injuries. And, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if they're a top team again next year. But not today. Well, today they were second best, but uh, it was not by much. It was a, it was a great match, and, uh, and uh, unfortunately, someone had to lose. Uh, Daniel, you're a very decorated player. You've won slams and masters, and you, you've been number one. How do you stay uh, hungry for more achievements? Well, I you know I love competing. I'm a very competitive person, no matter what it is, and uh, <laughs> and uh, I agree. <laughs> You know, it's what I'm good at. Also, I mean, if I if I stop playing, I'm not sure I'd find something that uh, that would interest me as much, and uh, you know, that would make me as satisfied. So, right now, I'm, I'm still playing a high level, and at least at, at times I am, and, uh, and I'd like to continue. And next year is a, a big year. We have Olympics, and, and you know, I still think I can compete to, for the Grand Slam. So, uh, I, I enjoy it, and I'll continue until I can't any longer. Do you plan to keep playing until uh, the Olympics? And yeah, for sure. Next year, and then we see after next year. You'll be playing mixed doubles as well? Uh, I don't know. I'm not a very good mixed doubles player. <laughs> I'll probably play, but I'm not expecting it. More questions? Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.